Hello my buddies welcome to new movie recap story in the quaint town of Crestwood. The morning sun illuminates Mish's room as she awakens to a world of dreams, where she envisions herself as the high school diva, the embodiment of popularity. She engages in animated conversations with imaginary admirers, blissfully unaware that her real-life status is far from glamorous. Reality hits hard as she strolls into Crestwood High, where her high school friends dismiss her presence, and a relentless bully casts shadows over her days. Even her cousin Brenda, the epitome of popularity, cruelly overlooks Mish, subjecting her to body-shaming taunts. Undeterred, Mish remains steadfast in her determination to rewrite her narrative. In her corner are her loyal confidants, Tanya and Yotti, brilliant minds who provide solace amidst the school's social storms. Mish harbors an audacious dream to claim a coveted spot by the legendary fountain, a privilege reserved for the school's popular elite. The prospect is daunting, yet Mish remains resolute. An unexpected twist unfolds when Mish, the unnoticed wallflower, becomes the clandestine muse of the school's Casanova, Dany. Their covert romance blossoms in hidden corners, shrouded in secrecy. However, Mish yearns for a public declaration, envisioning their love as the envy of all. As their one-year anniversary approaches, Mish persuades Dany to unveil their relationship to the world. The anticipation lingers in the air as Dany reluctantly agrees to step into the spotlight. Their relationship, once confined to hidden rendezvous in restroom corners, is poised to become the talk of Crestwood High. Returning home, Mish finds herself entangled in a discussion with her mother about parting with her beloved old sandals for a pair of fashionable heels. Meanwhile, her stepfather, Fur, exudes affection, preparing scrumptious meals that reflect the warmth he feels for Mish, a stark contrast to the cold distance of her biological father. In a world where dreams collide with harsh realities, Mish's journey to redefine her identity promises a roller coaster of emotions shedding light on the transformative power of self-discovery and the pursuit of acceptance. The dawn of the much-anticipated day bath Mish room in a golden glow, mirroring the excitement that pulsated through her veins. She adorned herself in a delightful dress, her spirit brimming with enthusiasm. Today was the day she'd longed for, the day she would finally step into the spotlight she'd crafted in her dreams. Eagerly, Mish approached Dany, her secret beau, who lounged among the popular clique at school. Her heart fluttered with anticipation as she anticipated Dany's acknowledgement, yearning for their love to be celebrated openly. However, reality shattered her hopes as Dany, fearing the judgment of his cool friends, disowned their connection, claiming ignorance of her existence. Crushed, Mish became the target of cruel taunts from the bullies, who jeered at her presumed infatuation with Dany. In the aftermath of this heartbreaking revelation, Mish sought solace in the comforting words of her steadfast friends, Tanya and Yotti. They reminded her that invisibility might be a sanctuary from the pitfalls of popularity, contrasting with the tumultuous lives of figures like Brenda and Dany. Brenda, in a rare moment of advice, cautioned Mish to stay within her own lane, insinuating that straying into the limelight was a perilous endeavor. Devastated, Mish languished in her misery until a chance encounter with a charming guy named Maddie at the neighborhood paper shop. Their flirtatious banter momentarily lifted Mish's spirits, but her purpose remained unfulfilled. She requested Maddie's assistance in printing copies of a placard, a precursor to the revolution she envisioned for the school. The following day marked the beginning of Mish's rebellion. In a confrontation with Dany in the restroom, she unleashed her pent-up emotions, refusing to forgive his callous dismissal. She vowed that the world would one day see her as she saw herself, fabulous and sassy. Unbeknownst to them, Brenda eavesdropped on their conversation, setting the stage for an unexpected turn of events. Seizing the moment, Mish infiltrated the speaker room and boldly declared her revolution to the entire school. She eloquently spoke of diversity and self-love, challenging the status quo. Determined, she took a daring step and claimed a seat by the fountain, challenging the unwritten rules that confined it to the popular clique. 
However, her audacity earned her a harsh punishment as she was thrown into the water by the popular kids. Undeterred, a drenched but resolute Mish emerged from the water, ready to face the consequences of her rebellion. Dany, though remorseful, lacked the courage to defend her. Brenda, reveling in Mish's plight, asserted that Mish would never attain popularity. However, Mish, standing tall, asserted confidently that she would surpass Brenda. Surprisingly, her defiance garnered applause from onlookers. Over the weekend, Maddie, a part-time DJ and party planner, extended an invitation to a school party, marking a new chapter for Mish. Excitement bubbled within her as she prepared for an experience she had never encountered before. The subsequent school day brought an unexpected twist. Dany, anonymous but contrite, placed a teddy bear and flowers in Mish's seat as a gesture of apology. As Mish pondered this unexpected gesture, the echoes of her revolution lingered, laying the foundation for a journey of self-discovery and resilience against the odds. As the embers of burnt gifts danced in the air during the science lab, Mish's anger towards Dany remained palpable. The charred remains of the teddy bear, once a symbol of their hidden affection, lay discarded in the trash. Dany, undeterred, retrieved the scorched relic, his guilt evident. Meanwhile, Brenda beckoned him for a private conversation, admonishing him against continuing his association with Mish. She reminded him of the social consequences of dating someone so invisible in the high school hierarchy. Simultaneously, Tanya and Yotti echoed Brenda's sentiments, advising Mish to sever ties with Dany. They emphasized that dating the school heartthrob wouldn't elevate Mish's popularity as she desired. In the complex high school ecosystem, appearances mattered more than genuine connections. Back home, Mish's focus shifted to preparations for an upcoming party. Rifling through her grandma's closet for the perfect dress, her mood soured when she learned that her younger sister, Jessie, had come to stay. Though resistant to the invasion of her privacy, Mish reluctantly accepted her sister's presence. Connecting with Jessie, she shared tales of her exciting school life. The night of the party arrived, and Mish, Tanya, and Yoti donned traditional Mexican weepeel the dresses. Expecting a casual gathering, they were surprised to find themselves at a pageant. Unfazed, Mish showcased her singing talent, winning hearts despite being an unintended spectacle. Maddie, enchanted by her performance, offered her a partnership in event planning, where she could shine as a performer. Mish, hopeful that Maddie was genuinely interested, accepted the offer. However, her optimism crumbled when she discovered Maddie's ulterior motive. His interest wasn't in her, but rather in securing Brenda's phone number. Though their partnership remained intact, Mish was left disillusioned. Maddie and Brenda soon embarked on a romance, dashing Mish's hopes and leaving her disheartened. A new day at school introduced Maho, a transfer student from Chaos. Maho's past, marked by a viral photo of her kissing another girl, had upended her life, prompting her move. Intrigued by Maho's presence among the popular kids by the fountain, Mish felt compelled to unravel the newcomer's background. Maho's arrival added a layer of complexity to Mish's already tumultuous high school journey. Meanwhile, Dany, grappling with guilt, skipped class to pen a letter for Mish. Sneaking into the backyard, he was apprehended by Mish's stepfather, Fur. In a candid conversation, Dany disclosed his secret relationship with Mish and sought guidance. Fur, wise and compassionate, advised him not to forsake those he loved. The high school saga continued, weaving a tapestry of emotions, revelations, and unexpected alliances. Mish's journey, marked by heartbreak, resilience, and newfound connections, unfolded against the backdrop of teenage angst and the quest for self-discovery. In the intricate dance of relationships, each character grappled with their desires, mistakes, and the ever-evolving landscape of high school dynamics. In the dim light of Mish Room, the atmosphere was heavy with unspoken tension. The analogy of a hidden flower was presented by Dany, a metaphor that lingered in the darkness. 
He spoke of the fragile nature of beauty, emphasizing that concealment could lead to withering. Little did they know that this metaphor would soon extend beyond the confines of Mish Room, and become a poignant theme in the unfolding chapters of their high school saga. As the computer project loomed, students were divided into groups, much to the collective disappointment of the class. In an ironic twist of fate, Brenda and Mish found themselves reluctantly paired, joined by the enigmatic Maho. The trio begrudgingly headed to Mish's house for the project. To their surprise, Dany was already there, and soon Tanya joined, the dynamics of the group becoming increasingly complex. Maddie, appearing for business discussions with Mish, completed the ensemble. Amidst the collaborative effort, Grandma, a guardian of family law, decided to unveil a piece of Mish's past. She proudly showcased a photo of Mish in diapers, regaling the group with tales of a snotty young Mish. Blushing with embarrassment, Mish wished the ground would swallow her whole, especially when Dany handed her a letter, a tangible attempt at reconciliation. Dismissing it with a hasty shove under her bed, Mish clung to her grumpy mood. As the group assembled for lunch, Maddie proposed a partnership with Brenda for their social endeavors, sparking anger in Mish. Confronting Brenda, Mish accused her of trying to sabotage their budding business. Brenda, unyielding, reveled in the power dynamics with Maddie under her influence. In a fit of rage, Mish hurled a deeply personal remark about Brenda's parents, leading to a heated exchange with Grandma. To defuse the tension, Maho took Mish outside, seeking solace in a park. As they indulged in ice cream, a group of boys recognized Maho from her viral picture, cruelly mocking her as the meme girl. Mish, oblivious to the incident, sought clarification from Maho, who chose to run away without offering an explanation. Amidst the chaos, news of a school musical based on Alice in Wonderland emerged, igniting a spark in Mish's heart. Despite Tanya and Yotti's skepticism about the casting process favoring slender girls, Mish was determined to audition. Maho, however, instilled hope in Mish, making her believe she could challenge the norm. The duo immersed themselves in dress fittings and audition preparations, momentarily forgetting the world outside their drama. In the midst of this, Tanya won a graffiti competition themed around sisterhood, symbolically drawing a picture of her, Yotti, and Mish. Although she clinched victory, the absence of her best friend at the event left Tanya disheartened. Mish, realizing her oversight, apologized profusely and vowed to make amends. As Mish contemplated a gift for her grandma's 70th birthday, she impulsively announced her participation in the most beautiful flower competition. The decision brought joy to grandma's heart, but anxiety enveloped Mish as the commitment sank in. In the tapestry of Mish's high school life, each thread intertwined with emotions, revelations, and personal growth. The journey, marked by misunderstandings, reconciliations, and newfound connections, reflected the complexity of adolescence. Mish's determination to challenge societal norms and leave her mark, coupled with the unwavering support of her friends, promised an engaging continuation to her coming-of-age story. In an unexpected revelation, Mish's family, deeply rooted in tradition, places immense value on the most beautiful flower competition, a legacy passed down through generations. Mish's mother, grandma, and great-grandma all adorned this prestigious title in their eras. Despite Mish's reservations about the competition, the family's strong adherence to tradition becomes apparent. The scene shifts to the school's auditorium, where Mish delivers a stellar performance, impressing judges with her exceptional voice and dance skills. Backstage, Maho, Yeti, and Tanya shower her with congratulations, elevating Mish's spirits. However, a sudden call from her mom unveils an unexpected turn of events, the family is at the city square to sign Mish up for the most beautiful flower competition. Rushing to prevent her family from formalizing her entry, Mish discovers her grandma has already registered her name. The weight of family expectations now rests on her shoulders, as Mish grapples with the pressure to become the most beautiful flower, and preserve her family's cherished legacy. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to capture hood recaps.